My name is Aaron Drummond. I'm an artist in Charleston, South Carolina. Uh, for 20 years, I have been painting about the Low Country experience, and I got that inspiration by managing the Chuma Gullah Gallery. Uh, for 16 years, I was surrounded by so many other local artists in this area, and it inspired me to start my own artwork. I was a abstract artist at first, uh, and then my father passed away and I realized I wanted to tell stories with my art, so I went into doing folk art. And then I learned um, more about the craft of sweetgrass basket weaving, and that's when I started incorporating those images into the art that I do now. Um, when, when I realized I had this platform, I knew that I could paint art and do artwork that had um, a beautiful aesthetic, but I also wanted to make sure that my art had a purpose. So I incorporate a lot of symbolism into the work that you'll see um, as I show the work later on. So not only am I a folk artist, but I'm a visual storyteller, an educator, and a preservationist. I use symbolism in my work to really uh, tell more of a story. I know that folk art is very simple, but I want you to look beyond the simplicity and understand that we all have a unique story to tell. Uh, one of the symbols I use in my work is having a separation between the head and the body of the figures. This talks about how lots of African Americans have been separated from their homeland and it's something they carry with them every single day. Um, we talk about natural hair. I depict that in my paintings because natural hair has a sense of strength and um, passion to it that a lot of people don't really realize. Um, we also talk about how the culture, we want it to keep going. So I leave a lot of the baskets undone so that we showcase this is a culture that is not finished. And when you look at a lot of the palette I use for my natural series, you'll see it's almost the same color as the background. This is to symbolize that this is a, a culture that if we don't pay attention to it, it may fade away. Yeah, so when you add all of these elements together, you know, I'm trying to tell a story, trying to document, trying to preserve and make sure that my art um, does more than just give you something visually to look at. In fact, one thing I've noticed in the four years that I've been a vendor at the city market is that my work isn't always accessible to everyone. So I'm trying to find new and inventive ways uh, to make it more accessible. So in 2024, I'm gonna introduce my mixed media prints on canvas. They're gonna be hand signed. They're gonna have authentic baskets uh, along with them. But this is gonna be a way that more people, that we can reach more people and continue telling our story. So Aaron, where are you gonna, where do you plan on showing uh, your, your uh arts on your prints on canvas so currently i have the prints on canvas in buford on st helena island at the gullah geechee visitor center okay also in walterboro south carolina at the artisan center and the goal is to also be in the gift shop at the gibbs art museum here in charleston and ultimately in the online gift shop at our new international african-american museum Oh, wow, beautiful. You know, having them both at the Gibbs and at the museum uh, will really give your artwork greater exposure, ensuring that, you know, the culture never dies and that it's preserved uh, forever. So that, those are really great ideas. Thanks, Zach. That's the ultimate goal. Let's see what we can accomplish. Hello, my name is Zachary Foster, native here of Charleston, South Carolina. Uh, so I'm a Benya, as we say in Gullah. My great-great-great-grandfather, Adam Bennett, actually arrived on Magnolia Gardens and Plantation, which was formerly a rice plantation, in 1865. Uh, my grandmother, I remember my grandmother, who was also born on Magnolia Gardens uh, in 1934, would always tell me stories about her times on the gardens. Uh, so this culture, this Gullah culture, is very true to my heart, uh, and I really appreciate the contribution that it's, uh, that it's made on uh, society as a whole. I met Aaron about 10 years ago at the Chumagullah Gallery. 
When I first met Aaron, I admired his passion of preserving this rich Gullah culture. He was knowledgeable not only of the culture as a whole, of the sweet grass baskets being used as agricultural tools during the rice production, of the language. You know, he, he knew words, kamyab, which uh, indicates someone who transplanted from elsewhere and moved to Charleston, of Benyaz, uh, of folks who were born here. So what I have upcoming in uh, June of 2024 is a brand new exhibition uh, at Brook Green Gardens once again, but this time I'm not only focusing on these, the images that, that I've done up to this point, but now I'm shifting gears and working on something loosely titled The Gilded Age. I want to focus on the wealth disparity that was once happening in the late 1800s, early 1900s, and showcase how today that's still happening. When you look at the gilded frames that I've been collecting for over six months and how I use my simple folk art images encapsulated in those frames, this is how I symbolize that disparity. You know, I want my art to not only uh, be used and seen visually, but I want it to start a conversation. And with those conversations, connect us and bring us closer together. You know, art is such a powerful uh, concept and, and once I realized I had the power to affect people, I knew that my art had to have purpose. Life, life.